हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट डायग्नोसिस ऑफ जेनाइटल ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस in the diagnosis once you should have to demonstrate the tubercle bacilli in the urine by culture or by pcr so in the urine you can do urine examination on urine examination you will see presence of pyuria is seen in the urine and this is sterile on ordinary culture if you do a ordinary culture you will see that it is sterile so this sentence is very important if you see that there is persistent pyuria is seen without any organisms on culture there is persistent pyuria but if you do a culture you will see that there are no organisms then always this persistent pyuria without organisms should always be thought of tuberculosis only second then you can do culture of tubercle bacilli from the early morning sample if you do a culture from early morning sample then it gives positive in many patients then it mostly gives positive okay next next you can do plain x ray on the plain x ray in the tuberculosis this might show presence of calcified lesions or punctate calcifications are seen in the renal uh, parenchyma because in the if you remember in the complications calcifications of the kidney being calcified is one of the complications so calcified lesions and punctate calcifications are seen on the plain x ray then in the intravenous pyelography of tuberculosis the earliest sign of intravenous pyelography of tuberculosis is moth eaten calyx so what is this moth eaten calyx this moth eaten calyx occurs due to the obliteration of the clear outline of renal papillae that is if this is the kidney we have a clear papillae will be seen on intravenous pyelography but because the tuberculosis affects the papillae first this papillae this is where you see the abscess formation and all the pathological issues so as a result you will see that there is obliteration of clear cut outline of renal papillae is seen so this occurs mainly due to the erosion and due to the infection so this is moth eaten calyx then if there is obliteration of one or more calyces is seen then this will result in if this obliteration of one or more calyces is called as callistasis so whenever there is obliteration of one or more calyces the urine from that calyx cannot drain so as a result there is development of hydronephrosis is seen so on intravenous pyelography you will see presence of um, presence of hydronephrosis is also seen then uh, in intravenous pyelography you can see a space occupying lesions if there is a tubercular abscess and if you do an intravenous pyelography intravenous pyelography will only show the uh, ureteric path right that is urine flow path for example if there is a uh, abscess here so in such cases you will see that this calyces are played or they are dividing of calyces or playing of calyces is seen if there is space occupying lesion in the pelvis for example if a tumor is if the if a tb lesion is seen here if an abscess is seen in the pelvis then there can be splaying like this like this wherever the abscess are there over there the sites of abscess will not be filled and has a result splaying of abscesses is seen in the um, tuberculosis then in the ureter strictures of the ureter are more common you can see strictures may be seen either multiple strictures or uh, single strictures of the urine of the ureter may be seen and if you see the bladder in the bladder you can see that there is shrunken bladder is seen and the wall of the bladder is irregular okay this shrunken bladder with irregular wall is called as thimble bladder is seen in these patients so ureteric strictures can occur and thimble bladder is also seen then then you will also see that 
sometimes you can see that there is absence of the renal function kidney function will be completely absent mainly due to the ureteric obstruction whenever there is complete ureteric occlusion or complete ureteric obstruction with renal destruction this will result in autonephrectomy so all these are seen in intravenous pyelogram then you can also do retrograde pyelography. In retrograde pyelography, if you ask the patient to maturate and you and if you pass a um, if you pass a dye, then you will see presence of extensive calcification and thickening of ureter is seen. This thickened ureter is called as pipe stem ureter. Okay, this calcification of ureter and thickening of ureter is seen and it is also associated with pyonephrosis also. Then, cystoscopy in tuberculosis. If you do a cystoscopy in tuberculosis, the earliest sign which you see is pallor is seen and this pallor is seen mainly around the ureteric orifice. Then, the patient will also present with tubercular ulcers can also be seen and golf hole ureteric orifice is seen. So, cystoscopy is mainly done for the bladder right if you do a cystoscope you will see the ulcer wherever the tubercular ulcer is seen and the orifice of the ureter is seen has a golf hole orifice is also seen CACT is actually the investigation of choice for genitourinary tuberculosis so investigation of choice for genitourinary tuberculosis is contrast enhanced CT scan on MRI you will see presence of diffuse radiating streaky areas are seen with low intensity is seen in the prostate that is you will see presence of water melon skin sign that is uh, in the prostate is seen with diffuse streaky areas of lower intensities are seen there is high intensity areas and low intensity areas are seen which will resemble the water melon sign water melon skin so it is called as water melon sign Thank you and thank you for watching.